Hey everyone, my name's Harry. As you can tell, I'm a lover for the great outdoors and also I'm a massive geek. But there's one thing that I love more than anything else in the whole world and that is filmmaking. It's even won me one or two rewards. I've got a couple of viral hits on YouTube and my films have even taken me all the way to Hollywood. The teachers have asked me to naturally create a video of telling you the best ways to succeed on the media course. So sit back, enjoy, as I tell you my deep secrets of how I succeeded on the course. How to make the projects more accessible for yourself. Try and apply your interest and fascinations with your actual projects and focus on that of being the strength of your work. Here's an example. I love animation. In fact, I've included animation in every single one of my projects. And when documenting my progress, I should also include all the research that I've learnt about animation. And since that I'm intrigued with the topic, I don't find it such a daunting task for when I've got a write-up about it. Know how to work within your limits. As exciting as it can be to fully create your own original concept, but it is very important to keep in mind if that idea is fully achievable. Here's an example from my own experience. I love sci-fi. But I know that I don't have a Hollywood budget, so I could probably never fully depict a grand alien invasion. But why not compromise to a smaller scale? What if it's just about three lads trying to get away from an alien threat? Unable to depict a battle? Why not just depict a confrontation between two people? When you rewatch a film, try and find a scene in that movie that can maybe work well as a short film and inspire towards that. During my time at college, I made a short film called School Reflection, an animation about my own personal struggles at school. Compared to my other films, it's the least high concept, but so far it's been my only film that's won anything, that being the Spectrum Art Prize. So in short, do the kiss technique. Keep it simple. How to get better. Very easy this. Just keep on practicing. When Leonardo did his paintings, he didn't just do one quick sketch, then immediately painted the Mona Lisa. He was always working to get better. Your education shouldn't end when you get home. If you can work outside of college, then you're on the road of success. You've got an idea for an awesome poster for your project? Think it might look good on a DVD cover? Or create a trailer or a Facebook page to promote it? Then by God, bloody do it! Treat all of them if they have the same value as the actual project. Because that's exactly what the examiner wants to see. And also if you're going to make a making of, pinpoint every single decision you made because every choice you make should be really important. I'm always carrying around my camera because you never know what exactly you're going to film that might be a huge help later on. Oh, so an extra tip while filming, always film within the first couple of weeks of the project the sooner you can start filming, the better. Now, when I go on holiday, I'm always planning ahead as to how that holiday can benefit my next project. Because now I'm at a point where I don't want my films to look exceptionally brilliant for a student film, because now I want people to take a second glance and wonder if it's a work from a professional. Try and be independent. A personal goal that I try to achieve for every single one of my videos is to make it all 100% to my own design. Not just creating my own storylines and my own original characters, but I go as far as to create my own props, visual effects, sound effects, and even the music. Yep, I even create my own soundtrack. Why? Because down the road, if I want to do something with my own video, let's say I submit it into a film festival, I've then got to make sure that I've got permission of using the music or any archival material that I didn't film myself. But by doing it all myself, not only I've got permission to use my own material, but also I've got a wide range of skills. And also, here's something that's quite important. The teachers are mainly there to make sure that you're on the right track. I've had so many colleagues just sitting in the classroom, just expecting the teachers to do the learning for them. While the teachers, I'm sure, would be more than happy to discuss with you about your projects, but you can't expect them to do the progress for you. It's like the old saying, don't expect a big break by doing nothing. You've got to work towards that. Because school and college are two vastly different environments. Because in college, you're treated just as equal as the teachers. 
And one more thing, let's say your video project isn't going very well, you know, maybe something's going wrong, maybe things aren't quite working out as you imagine them to be, and you're getting really overwhelmed, I'd say just relax, try to think of it as nothing. Just make the best of a worse situation.